Okay, my goal for this episode is I want to go back to this area. The USS Constitution I saw on the shore here, and there's also some stuff over here I might try to explore. But I'm going to start with the Constitution. Now I'll go to Bunker Hill to be as close to that as I can. Yeah, there's a door on this side as well. And that sailboat icon on the map, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure, is where I'm going. Right. Right there. Looks like there's robots on it. Here to be registering as hostile. Excuse me. This is our claim. Clear out, Civvy. Um, it would be better for all of us if you just leave. Depending on what you need, I may be able to help. The fire wind holds true, then. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. Out the double quick, sir.
whole bunch of safes. I just switched keyboards to one that makes less noise. So the clacking gets picked up on the microphone. Hmm. I still don't see where I'm supposed to go to go up. Shadowing there. I wonder if I'm going to regret not having my power armor and all these things glitch out and turn on me. Defending the Midshipmen, stand down! Stand down, I say! This soldier is a guest on our vessel. Please afford him all appropriate courtesies. Easy there. Unable to comply. Stand down! That's an order! And for God's sake, use the accent! I, Captain, standing down. <laughs> Such a story, vessel. From the top deck, one can spot other robots from the Commonwealth, floating, listless, without purpose, but not us. Oh, 
I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scanned two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. Thanks for calling him off me. The scan shows you have the proper number of appendages <laughs> still, so all is well. I am Captain Ironsides, commander of the USS Constitution. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. He calmed these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings <laughs> and Loan! I spit at you. That's quite a predicament. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er do wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. Just tell me what you need. Good man. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few... Two warning shots usually suffice. The cannons are ready. Fire at will. That's the battle, traitor. You hide in bed. Yeah, I'm supposed to fire the cannons. Talking to me still. Warning. Files in area. Yeah, I've seen this before. Supposedly if you get the fusion cores, these things would die immediately, but it seems to always be a 0% chance. I guess it's enclosed in that housing. Okay. Navigator, bosun. You the navigator? Does this humble unit a great honor? My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! Okay. On to the mission. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, sir. 
Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the <laughs> microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. I thought I could grab power cables from somewhere, but... I already repaired that one. I don't know. Hey, Bosun. How? Course is through the Constitution's veins. Again! Her systems, long starved, flick after life! <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Why are you ashamed of that? Back from around, sir, there were dark times. But I made all manner of baseless complaints against the captain, the manner in which this ship is run, and the plausibility of our sacred mission. But now, I see the error of my ways. With your help, perhaps I can atone. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas. How are we like coil? Okay. Defending the Constitution. Welcome, Bosun. You are too kind. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttlebutties, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. Must still have something I see. I was wondering why I had so many map objectives still. Uh, oh, down there. Okay. Warning. Overdue 
for maintenance, patrolling. I don't get it. I'm supposed to talk to the navigator. The navigator's outside the ship? See... Just reset the quest marker. Get up on the shopping cart, I could jump up through that hole. Patrolling. Yeah. If the scavengers keep seeking folly and destruction, I Ahoy, soldier! Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Why did the scavengers attack? Scavengers have attacked ship 17 times. Destroyed 13% of ship's systems. Stole 5% of ship's store. Logic error. Captain's orders authorize scavenger termination only if necessary to preserve the ship. If they've attacked you 17 times, why don't you fight back? This unit suggests Captain's core processes in need of extensive maintenance. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. Who stole your guidance chip? Guidance chip is one entry on the list of stolen items. Reclaim chip at Scavenger's forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Dingy. I thought they would be talking about like an elevator or something. There's a power relay coil right here. I guess I was confused about which side was aft. Hmm. Yeah, Alright. So they want me to recover guidance ship, okay. Chip. Guessing. Right. Here's one scavenger.
noise. Oh, this is making noise. Okay. Oh, it's these guys. Interesting. Assume they're going to turn hostile. I don't think I'm carrying. For a while, I was carrying like a special thing that would boost charisma. And I never used it. Alright. Let's talk. Go shoot! Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So they were scavengers, but not with you. Well, they were kinda with us. I mean, <laughs> we're not really used to working together. It's not like anyone is in charge. But we do have an agreement. Everyone works together, gets an equal share. When you waltzed aboard the ship, those assholes just kinda lost it. They broke our agreement and paid for it. How did you get aboard anyway? We <laughs> thought you were gonna get cratered for sure. He knew I was an army veteran, so he let me on the ship. Army? Isn't that some old world mumbo jumbo? Whatever. So you got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage, the real mother load, just waiting to be stripped and sold. If you say so. So you talked with a tin can. What do you have to say? Ironside says you stole a guidance chip. He wants it back. His guidance chip, right. You know what he needs it for, his rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. Rockets? Why is he building rockets? Who knows? Maybe a bomb. Maybe he'll launch himself <laughs> into space. Who cares? It's valuable as hell. That's what matters. Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with him. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This guy's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. No deal. I'm with Ironsides. Then screw you, asshole. You're lucky we don't gun you down. Welcome to try. And I'm sure they will once I go for this. Payday is coming. Yeah. Free frag mines, at least. I'm thinking about whether I should try to steal that thing without killing them. Yeah, I think I should try. Let's 
Skyrim. <laughs> if you're here for work, you're too late. The way to do it is you'd find a bucket. Put it on their heads, and they couldn't see. <laughs> and then steal whatever you want. I never actually did that, I just seen plenty of videos where people have there's just this one trash can back here, but give it a try. You try jumping our claim, and the boat will crater you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's a fail. All right, good enough. Payday better be coming soon. So what's the... Oh, this is what she's talking about. Guess I didn't look very closely at this thing. Transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Hmm. I wonder if this is just something I can click on to fix. A master repairman may be able to. Once I got outside, it would give me... Oh, okay, it is. Oh. I see. Okay. So I'll end this episode here and walk there in the next one.